One of my favorite things to do is to get together with my friends and talk about ways to better ourselves. How to get what we really want out of life. I'm Ian Carl Lagerall, and today we're going to be talking all about success. We're here at Safi Restaurant in Lexi Phase 1. I've got a couple of my friends waiting, so let's get started. No, it's just like so <laughs> no. forced. Yeah. Hi guys. Hi. 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 Oh, how are you guys? Good. 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 Looking good. Thank you. You guys Spot look on. great. You guys look <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Okay, so guys, I've been doing some thinking lately, and I don't know if you guys can help me out okay, because sure everything can. seems to be like a lot. Okay. You know, I've been thinking about my life. I'm 25 years old. Have I really done anything? Like. Have I actually accomplished anything? This daunting, <laughs> overwhelming feeling of success and the need for success. Mm -hmm. So I thought I, I can't possibly be the only person that's feeling this, the only person that's going through this. So I wanted to talk to you guys about it. What do you guys think success is? Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Let Lady go first. <laughs> wow, thanks for putting me on this one. <laughs> that's a deep one. Success, I would say, is a very personal thing. Success um, differs with each person. Success to me would be when I have used all of all of the talents and the gifts that I have to, mm -hmm. in a sense, its maximum reach. You know, mm -hmm. I think that that is what I would call success: mm -hmm. dying empty, basically, when you've poured out all of what you have. Yeah, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. Okay. So, what about you guys? What about you, Sama? What's your definition? Um, to me personally, I think su success is. Um, um, being comfortable at a point like you know like this is my um this is the apex of what i can do i see what you did there you know, <laughs> <laughs> so you know like this is um, the highest point i could get to and that's the highest point you can see because your success can be different to some other person. He yeah. might just say, oh, if I buy a Volkswagen, I'm good, I'm successful. You might want to have a Rolls Royce. So it's yeah. different, like, basically. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a spaceship. Right. Yeah. You know, you I know? mean, why just, you know, or stop it like, you right? know? <laughs> I think basically it's, you know, dying happy. You know? Okay. I always used to say to myself, um, I mean, I used to have a nine to five job before I left it. And every day when I got to work, you know, I, I just knew within me that I wasn't happy. And I wanted to, I said to myself, you know what, AG, I want to die a happy man, even if I try so many times and I don't make it in the entertainment industry. I want to be able to, you know, draw my last breath and know that I tried. And I'll say to myself, you know what, I succeeded. What do you what do you guys think our generation views <coughs> success? <coughs> Hashtag assurance. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag accolades. Accolades, yo. That's what it is about. What you can show, what people want to see, what's how you're better than the next person. Sure. That's what success is to people. Pepe them gang. Yeah, so I think it's just That's going it. to, it's been taken from real life to social media now. Yeah. yeah. Does happiness and success go hand yes, in hand? Definitely. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Yes, depending sure. on what you define success as. And we have said that success yeah. is not necessarily about the materialism things mm -hmm. so yeah i think you can be okay so now i have a question for you guys if there is a homeless person and he's the happiest person that you know but he literally is homeless is he successful no but you um, guys just said no, it's it's about, about, well but he's, he's homeless but he's the happiest person yeah he's the happiest person that you know mm -hmm. Is he successful? So the, the question is, what's making him happy? Mm -hmm. if, if what's making him happy is something that he's achieved or some goals that's... No, he's just he, happy. Like, he woke up this morning, accomplishment, happy. done. He just woke up and he's done. Yeah. Well, and that's it. Without he's anything. Happy. Without... <laughs> well, well, no. He's, 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 he's not successful. He's just happy. Well, you just See, said that when you're successful, content, you, have to, you have to be able to... Set goals. You have to have goals that you've already, yeah. like ticked off your to-do list yeah. you have to like well he woke up that morning yeah, that's, a <laughs> that's a goal well, well <laughs> success success has to do with being able to um to uh what's the word now to encourage and make other people want to be successful if okay. you're if just you chilling and, just, and you don't have anything there. and nobody's looking at you like ah, i want to be like this guy yeah, exactly hmm, okay that's but, another angle yeah but now if you make other people want to be successful. Is that really success or are you just tensioning people? Um, no. Well, somebody once said that there is no success without succession. So it's not enough to acquire all the things that you acquire in terms of materialistic things. It's not enough to die empty. The next person, the other people around you, if you if you don't rub off on them, then that's yeah. then in a sense, you're not successful. Okay, so, so my, going back to what you were saying, right, that your definition of success may not be somebody else's definition of success, yeah. which is why I want us to go back to the homeless guy mm. analogy. And I asked you guys, is he successful? And you all said flat out no. 
See, yeah. with success, there has to be a level of achievement. But he achieved. He, achieved he woke up. That's, That's not, not an achievement. achievement. Everybody no. wakes up. Everybody no, wakes no, no, up. No, there's people, a gift. There's, there's a gift. some people that was, don't wake up. Was, no, and I'm sure they that. wish that they no. did. Listen, when it comes to waking up, it's a gift. It's a gift of life. Everybody wakes up. What's even making this guy happy in the first place? What's making him That's smile? the question it's I the ask. Fact what that is he, making him happy? It's the fact happy. that he woke up. If you are homeless and you're living on these streets, there's some homeless guy that you slept next to and he didn't wake up. So you woke up and you're like, you know what? I did something today. I'm well, this, good. This homeless guy that happened. <laughs> what part of oh, the world is he from? Oh, maybe he found food for the day or something. Or something. Okay, yeah. So if he that's found... An, that's so, a level so exactly. Of well, he might, be, he might be a exactly. successful homeless guy too. Do you understand? Like, that homeless exactly. guy like, probably for that day. I must be like this homeless guy. Yeah, so probably, like, probably for that day. Like, today, know? probably yesterday, <laughs> I had one, zero, one. Just two meals up. Yeah. yeah, yeah today, I mean, I'll try and have... Ah, if I can eat once today, you get... If I can eat once today, that's successful. I'm happy. Probably that's why the guy was... That's what he was smiling or something. To to him, that might be his own level of success. So yeah. Well, okay. today I was able to beg for five hundred naira, and then that was <laughs> and yesterday okay. I got nothing. So okay, so that's success defined. So if God forbid, if you died today or if I died today, would you feel like you were successful? And, As and I am no. presently, yeah. no. No. <laughs> but then, not. does that now define you? Should like people should we even care then if you're not quote unquote successful? If there is no <coughs> succession, like mm. you said. Yeah, so I'm holding myself up to that standard right now. I wouldn't say that I have, I don't know that I've inspired people to, I don't know, to be the best that they can be. So right now, if I die now, I don't know that I'd be happy where I'm going. Because I feel like I haven't put in enough work yet in that regard. For me, if death comes now, I think I'll I'll be happy that I made the move. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I tried. I left my nine to five. Come on, man. Every day, every day I think of yo. <laughs> You're always happy about that. I mean, every day some people ask me, ah, do you think about your constant salary that used to come? Mm. And trust me, I, I've never for one day missed the salary or missed work. So mm-hmm. I think if death comes now, I tried, I made the move. I've. So you think you're successful? Some, yeah, to some level, if death comes now. Okay, okay. All right. And Simon, what are your thoughts? Me, personally. Man, I don't think I am successful yet. If this comes down, comes down. If that comes down, I'm a fight that I'm like I don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Free me. No, no, no. Really? Like okay. I don't think I don't think I want to. I don't, I don't want to die yet. Nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to die yet. So in that regard, do you guys think that we should change up in order to get our change up? Mm. Mm. You're, you're I like really that. like this girl. <laughs> so that's like, you're going to be dropping nuggets. Era, era, era. So, <laughs> punchlines, you know. Um, well, it depends. Like, it depends. If you know there are things you're lacking, or like you have, everybody has their um, strengths and their weaknesses. You know, you need to change up on your weaknesses. You know, uh, I like to chill too much, mm. or I like to just mm. let things play out and see how it goes. You need to change up. You need to know that, ah, I need to go for this. You need to be a fighter for you to succeed. Actually, that's what it yeah. is. You can't just be laid back and believe that, oh, okay, because I'm laid back, I want to leave everything in God's hand. <laughs> Success is achieving a milestone that has been set either by you or by someone else. It's like fulfilling your destiny, being fulfilled. Maybe financially, um, materially, and other stuff like that. Success means fulfilling your God-given purpose. But not all people that, um, not everyone that achieved the Lord, that are successful. But when you find your purpose in life, then you are successful. I would leave a good-paying job to follow my pa- my passion, because that's what drives me. Not the money, but my passion drives me. Yes, I can leave a good paying job for to follow my passion in that if you, are, if you follow your passion, you enjoy the job and at the end of the day, you still have more pay than when you are doing a job that you are not satisfied with. If you don't follow your passion, then I feel you won't, be fulf- you won't feel fulfilled in, in this life. So I feel like following your passion is following what you were brought into this world to do. So you should definitely follow your passion. So in my opinion, I would leave a regular paying job to follow my passion, even if it would be at the detriment of me becoming really poor. If I have the opportunity to be successful and it will affect someone else, I think I will have to consider it. If in the other way around, if it's going to favor me, and maybe at the end of the day I can be able to help the person back, I can do it. 
But if it is something I can't do that, I can I won't be able to help the person. I rather I would rather leave it. This offer is so juicy. Ah. And it's something that will transform my life at the expense of someone. To be very frank, eh? If the person will still be alive, the person will not die. There's nothing money cannot do. And God forgives us. So somehow we'll bring in money and God. But the person will have to understand because at the end, we are the one that will enjoy it finally. Well, that's on the lighter note anyway, but it's hard, man. But if, if it's, uh, I think I might just do it. I won't lie. Um, I definitely will because, <laughs> I mean, we didn't come into this world together. We don't enter this world together. So, uh, please, I want money. I mean, I'm sure the person can always find another way to make it in life. And I could probably maybe um, give the person some money. <laughs> if I want to take such opportunity, I would have done that years back. I have seen a lot of things. I work in different places before I retire formally and I'm doing what I'm doing now. That will not give me rest and peace of mind. I want to see you tomorrow. I want to see anybody tomorrow and have rest and peace of mind, which is the success we're talking about. I will not do it. Never. Okay, all right. This has been a great conversation. Um, and I want to wrap it up with an honesty moment. Yeah. And I don't want any political answers from you. <laughs> I want <laughs> honest answers. Has there been anything or a moment that you've done something in order to get success, but maybe it didn't work out? Maybe even it got you success, but you weren't happy with yourself. You didn't feel good about what you did to get success. Ladies first. <laughs> I'm thinking. Really. Okay, I've been tempted recently. Mm. Mm. Tell us mm. about it, girl. So um, I have a, <laughs> I have a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and I was commissioned to do some, some reviews for certain for a certain company, and um, they decided to hold off for a while. I honestly was tempted to go along and just continue doing it because it's gotten some traction and getting views. There's plenty of engagement, so I'm thinking to myself. It's my channel, it's my voice, it's yeah, me right, filming right. and producing it myself. Might as well just continue. But then that conscience thing that I talked about earlier, mm. something it just keeps knocking on my heart, like, no, you can't do that. It was their idea. <laughs> to, yeah. They came to you. So yeah, I was this close. To doing it. <laughs> and this was just yesterday. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh wow, that it's is this very close. close. Yeah. Okay. And the way you said this conscience thing, it's like if I could just get rid of Yo, you. Like <laughs> I could just <laughs> Cut you away. Yeah, yeah I, so I mean, integrity. No. What you okay. say is what you do. So, all right. What about you, Soma? Actually, first. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm even thinking. I'm thinking. Um, what have I done? I mean, I'm not even to, done. Have you found yourself in a, in a situation where, by all means, you would look from the outside looking in? It's like, oh yeah, he is successful. He's you know, but you yourself just didn't feel good, yeah. or you didn't feel like you were successful. No. no. You're just good. I'm just, you know. You're I just, just blessed. Just, Germany cricket. You know, I, just, I just try to work as hard as I can, do what I can do. At the end of the day, I won't, I won't push it too much. I, yeah, you're I, back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just I just, yeah, yes, I am. Okay, that explains yeah, you. Know, just, just, why? Uh, why? Is that a no, proverb no, or something? No, because the way he's like, yeah, I just try to do what I can. I try. That means in the back of his head, he knows the thing, but he's not going to say the thing. <laughs> you know, that's uh, you know, really, I just, I just do what I can. I work as hard as I I think that... My dad just say something. What is yours is in your mm -hmm. What is yours wouldn't, you know... Say it's in your you. Don't worry, you'll yes, yes. get it. You, know, uh, you should say you understand you. I understand you, but don't, don't try me. Yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, say it. Okay, we won't try now. T T T O N I. Can you can you try? You know, oh, what's your exactly. name? So, so uh, bypass you. you. You get so I just work as hard as I can, and I think that mm. if it's yours, it will happen. If it's not, then let it go. Sometimes it's yours and but some other guy let's sharper let's, than let's you. Because <laughs> I remember he mentioned something about um, let God. What did yes, you say? Yes, let God um, <laughs> take let, he let, let God take wheel. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. You know, no, no, take no. the wheels. But, but like, like um, leave it to God. Leave it to no, God. Let's, yeah. let's, let's hear what someone has. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll remember Me? some. Personally, mm -hmm. I think um, have I done stuff that I think I wanted to do it for, so for a certain extent of success. Let me see. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think I have. 
you know, I have done mm-hmm. things. Things? In the past. <laughs> Please come in here. Yeah. I'm so curious. Well, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't disclose those things. But so, so, what's the so point? So, why did you tell us? What's the point? Because no, but it's I'm, honest. I'm, yeah, you know, you know. Like, I have, you know, like, yeah. but. Yeah, did I feel bad about it? What's, what's the thing, though? <laughs> I don't think it felt bad. I don't know how petty this will sound. I don't know how petty this will sound. I don't know how petty this will sound. Yeah, don't judge me. Yeah. No. It's very petty. We're not judging. But some two, They're three months. They're judging us. Okay, some two, three months back. You know, I was doing some entertainment stuff. Blah, 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 blah. But then I'll check my Instagram, like I said. And I had like 700 followers. I'm thinking, God almighty, what have I done? <laughs> you know, I'm doing interviews and stuff. I had 700. And mm-hmm. even my friends, I didn't even, they were not doing anything, like 1,000. So, man, I started making calls. Get how far? How much be 1,000 followers? Uh, how much be? you get? So, trust, listen. So, I was making the calls. Some things happened. I started doing some other shows. I don't know if I'm supposed to. You know, I started doing some things. And boom, I did something. And my followership went from 700 to about 6,000 now. So, so it's the like so social pressure. You get? That got so, you sometimes, you know, I, just, I felt like if... I'm not gonna 500, 700. I must get at least one thousand. The five hundred was, you know. Sometimes you meet some people. I'm like, okay, you do. You, you say I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm a presenter. Mm, I'm this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was your name. Seven hundred. Exactly. Mm. So yeah. So basically, going back to what we we're talking about, it's all about the social pressure. Mm. Well, thank you guys. I want to thank you for your honesty because I know it's it's hard when it comes to this level of success. I feel like sometimes success is like this quiet thing that people don't really talk about, but once they've achieved it, then like the whole world needs yeah. to know about it, especially <laughs> in our parts of the world. And they never really want to talk about the come up or, or the grinding of it. So thank you guys for being honest um, about your opinion. And thank you guys at home for watching as well. Like I always say, just because the conversation ends here doesn't mean it has to end for you. So be sure to comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know if there's ever been a time that you've actually battled with success and how you overcame some of the pressures that this world puts on us because there is a lot of pressures out there. And be sure to continue to be a part of the Indani family. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Indani TV and use the hashtag Indani Real Talk. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Wow. Thank you.